Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to use a great new tool called Perplexity AI um, and that can help you find answers to your research questions, to give you an overview of the potential direction for your research and to actually help you narrow down your research. So the first thing you need to do is search for Perplexity AI. Uh, you can either do that in Google or go to the website. And you don't need to sign in to use the tool, although I do recommend that you actually sign in so that you can find your previous searches in your library. Um, so this is the home page, and you can see that you can ask Perplexity everything. You can enter it here. And there's a, quite a few features. So if you click on to focus, you can either search across the internet you can search in published academic papers. You can use it to help you in your writing. Um, you can be more specific if you want computational knowledge. Um, you can search across YouTube or Reddit. So I'm just going to keep it on all for now. Um, and I'm going to ask it a general question um, to start off with that might help me narrow down my research. So I'm going to ask how are businesses using AI? Okay. Also, but just before um, you'll notice here that there's a co-pilot um, and that actually helps you um, narrow down your questions as well and guides your research but I'm just going to keep it turned off right now um, and we'll use it in, in our next search. So let's go. So you'll, see, you'll start off by seeing that it's given us sources from across the internet, they're not just like academic, um, we've got sources from Upwork, from Forbes, University of Pennsylvania and a few more. So uh, let's look at the answers first and we can see that businesses are using AI in various ways to improve efficiencies, save time, decrease costs and it's given us a list of things, um, a list of ways that businesses are using um, AI. So you can see that the answer is quite broad. Before we actually refine our answer, let's just look at the sources that it's provided us with. If I click on the first source, it will open up a page on Upwork, how is AI used in business, 10 ways it can help. Actually quite relevant. So it's, you can see it's extracted these, uh, this list um, in its response. It's quite, quite a, a relevant detailed answer. Um, the same with Forbes and University of Pennsylvania. So we want to make our answer more specific. We want to start narrowing it down. So I could look at this, an this answer and say, you know, I want to focus on human resources. Um, so I'll ask a follow-up question. You can see that it actually suggests some follow-up questions here. So how is AI being used in customer service? So I'm just gonna change that a bit and say, how is AI used in human resources? So let's select that. And then again, you can see that we're starting to refine our um, answer. So it's given us a few options. So AI is increasingly being used in human resources to drive decisions about hiring, retention, used in recruitment, performance reviews, and so on. Again, it's quite generic. So what I'm going to do now is actually going to take this answer and specify um, that I want to uh, search in academic papers. So I can get some um, detailed responses that are a bit more focused. So let's go back to home, back now on the home page. Um, and I'm going to now ask how is recruitment, or how is AI used in recruitment in or as part of human resources in businesses and this time under focus instead of selecting all I'm going to select academic okay so let's see what it comes back with okay so you'll see that now first thing we notice is that the sources are all academic sources um, and that it's come back with a, an answer that and again referencing academic sources so let's have a look at the uh, sources that it's come back with. You can see the role of artificial intelligence in recruitment and selection of employees in the organization. Um, and this is published in 2023, so quite a recent source. It's also given me um, another source that deals with to study the impact of artificial intelligence on HR practices, 2021. So another good source that I could explore. 
the number of related papers at the bottom as well that I can um, read more into. So the, the sources that I've been provided with are quite um, uh, recent and relevant uh, sources. So let's look at the actual answer. Artificial intelligence is increasingly used in recruitment as part of human resources in businesses. The generic AI is being utilized to streamline the recruitment process, analyze applicant profiles, conduct interviews, and select top candidates. So actually, it's an interesting topic that I might want to explore further. And you can see here it specifies the sources that it has come up with. And the, the good thing is that you can then start to ask follow-up questions. Um, for example, what are the potential risks of using AI in recruitment? So say I select this question. So, and then it will start to focus on maybe some of the challenges, such as bias in the algorithm used for candidate selection. And this might be an interesting part to, um, to add into my paper or to choose to focus on in my, uh, in my uh, literature. So as we saw, the, the general idea of complexity is that it really does help you um, narrow down your research and to become and opens up the, um, the door for you to find more um, sources that can help you with your selection. Now, the next thing I want to show you is how we can also use the co-pilot to help guide our research. So we're back on the home page now, and this time I'm going to select co-pilot when we're typing in our question. How is AI used in human resources? So and remember, I've also selected the academic. So now the first thing that you'll notice is that Copilot tries to understand more about the question that, you, that we've asked. But what specific aspects of AI and HR are you interested in? Um, so let me just start to be a bit more specific. So I'm going to select recruitment and I'm going to send that through. As you can see, it's searching the academic resources. It's about 25 different resources, um, sources that um, I can use. And then I, if I look at the answer here, it's given me specific areas that I can choose to dig in deeper. So efficiency and automation, candidate matching, candidate experience, data analysis and insights, fairness and bias. And you'll see that every response that it has given, it's given a source to. So I can choose to, again, ask some follow-up questions um, so, for example, how does AI improve employee retention rates or what are some of the potential risks, which again would be an interesting um, question. And you'll see then it will bring this, uh, the detailed answer through. So, as you've seen in this video, we took, uh, we used perplexity AI from, uh, to start off with a broad question, and it really did help us start to narrow it down. So with, in, in this case, uh, narrow down the field, narrow down the actual processes, start to understand some of the challenges that we're facing, and have access to the actual resources um, or the sources that we can use um, in order to cite our work. So what I find with perplexity is very similar to um, using chat GPT however what it does is that it actually gives you the, the relevant sources that will help guide um, guide your paper so I hope you found this useful please do let me know in the comments if there are any other ways that you're using perplexity in your research that you have found useful